welcome back. Happy November. I hope you guys are doing well today. Today I am so excited because we are finally reviewing Tati Beauty and her brand new palette, which is the Textured Neutrals Volume 1 palette. I know you guys have seen this floating around all over YouTube and social media. I'm like the last person to review this, but you know, better late than never. I wasn't going to film this video just because I knew I was going to get it after everyone else. I had already posted their video, but a couple of you guys requested it, so here we are. But if my video can help out at least a couple of you guys, then I'll be happy. So it's all good. But yeah, we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial today, some swatches. I'm going to give you guys my review on the palette, what my thoughts are. I actually did already try to film this yesterday, so I already have an idea of what the palette is like. <laughs> Everything that could go wrong yesterday with my video did go wrong, from the footage to the audio to me getting interrupted 50 times. It was just a hot mess. So it's a fresh day. My brushes are clean and I'm ready to play. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Of course, don't forget to grab a snack and let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so before jumping into the swatches and the makeup tutorial, I just wanna really quickly give a big shout out to Tati Beauty and just the behind the scenes of Tati Beauty and their website because I had such a great experience ordering this palette that I feel like I've never had such a flawless checkout with any other brand, especially a brand like this that is in such high demand. Like in my eyes, Tati Beauty and Tati, like she's like a celebrity to me, so I'm very impressed with this website. So I did order the palette myself, like I mentioned, I got it on Friday. I ended up going on the website about five minutes after it had just launched. So honestly, going on there, I thought that the site was going to be really slow. I thought I was going to lose my place in line and I didn't think I was going to get a palette. I thought it would be sold out, to be honest, because I did get on there a little bit late. But everything was just completely flawless. I was able to check out and keep my place in line in less than five minutes. I got a confirmation number within a few hours that same day on Friday. And then my palette ended up shipping out on Monday. I got it on Wednesday. I did pay for expedited shipping just because I wanted to get this ASAP and review it on my channel for you guys. I'm just super impressed because I've never had such a, like I said, such an easy checkout with any other brand, with any other collab. I not only love supporting a brand because of their products, but also like because of the behind the scenes and how they handle things and how their website and their customer services. So double thumbs up, A plus in that category. If you guys ever are thinking about ordering from Tati Beauty in the future, just know that you're not gonna have any issues. I think they had, maybe she mentioned like some issues, but they're taking care of it. And yeah, overall though, my experience was very positive. And from what I've seen, a lot of people's experiences were positive as well. So I'm very happy with that. And I just had to give that a shout out. Now we can jump into the actual packaging and everything. So you guys have seen this everywhere, but it's so much more pretty in person, to be honest. I love how sleek and classy and beautiful it is. I love how thin it is, but there's also some weight to it. So I feel like it definitely feels like a luxury high-end palette. And I love this big mirror here. I think this is really nice for traveling. Even though it is a bigger palette, it's not too bulky, so it's perfect. The way that the colors are displayed in here is very unique. You can just see it's very aesthetically pleasing. So as far as swatches, don't judge the palette based on my swatches because I'm the worst swatcher ever. And I'm a firm believer that swatches really don't mean anything. It's all about how they perform on the eyes. We're gonna do swatches anyway, just so you guys can see the colors. So first we have the matte row, which is so buttery. I feel like these are like your staple matte shades for any neutral or more dramatic look, which I love. Then we have the sequin finish. This is basically a matte eyeshadow with really tiny glitter particles in it. However, this formula is very soft and buttery, so you're not gonna feel the glitter when touching or when applying the shadow on your lids. And then we have the metallics. These are very wet. They are so creamy and I love all these shades. And then finally we have the glitters. I already used the glitters and I love this formula. It's not chunky. It's very smooth. The glitter doesn't separate and you don't need glitter glue when applying these to your lids. So you do get a little bit of fallout based off of what I used, but that's why I always like to do my eye makeup first. So for me, it's really not a big deal. So now we are going to jump into the eye makeup and get the show on the road. Okay, so I'm just gonna prime my lids. And I'm using the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer, which is my favorite. This one is in the shade Sheer. Okay, so first I'm gonna dip into that soft camel tone brown shade. I'm gonna apply that right into my crease as my neutral blending shade. Just gonna buff that in there using an e.l.f. flawless, or fluffy eye blender brush. This is like my favorite blending brush. I like this color a lot because it's very versatile. You could use it for every single day or you could build it up if you're doing something more dramatic. It's so smooth and creamy 
and these eyeshadows layer really well which is nice this is also a really high quality mirror in this palette like i it's not flimsy it's like really nice again i'm just building the shade up and i'm gonna try to use as many of the colors as i possibly can today just because i really want to show you guys some different shades and i of course will be doing more looks with this palette today's look is going to be really basic you know i can't help myself with the neutral looks but i will definitely do some more dramatic looks with the palette if you guys are interested so bear with me i have another one of the same exact makeup brush from elf the fluffy eye blender brush it's like my favorite brush so i have like three or four of these but i'm gonna go into the burnt orange color and i'm gonna be basically applying that where i just applied this shade i just want to really emphasize the crease and make it super warm this color is great it's super super bright so i like to just dip into this a little bit just to give myself a little bit more of a brighter crease but not too much Oh, I love it. Dipping into the dark chocolate brown, I'm gonna be applying that on my outer crease. Look at that pigment, crazy. I'm not gonna really focus too much on blending and being super precise on the lid area, so if it looks a little crazy, bear with me. I'm gonna go over top with glitter and it's gonna make everything better, but I'm really just focusing on the blending in the crease and like on the outer part. Taking a little bit more of that burnt orange color and I'm just gonna run that in the crease once again. Just to blend out those edges. These are super, super creamy. Okay, so I'm gonna be using that really beautiful chocolate brown glitter. I'm gonna show you guys how the glitter looks with my finger since I have baby nails. I can make it work today. And I'm gonna go in with a brush after just to really pack it on and be a little bit more precise. You do not need a glitter glue. And let me just, let's take a moment, hold on. Put the brightness down a little bit so we can see this glitter, you guys. Look at this. Like, come on, this is amazing. There is fallout, as I mentioned. Um, that's why I like to personally do my eye makeup first, but I feel like with most glitter, unless you're using like a Stila liquid glitter, it's gonna happen. So I'm gonna use an Anastasia number 18 brush. I'm gonna dip my brush and I'm gonna spray it a little bit just cause I like to spray it so it can stick a little bit better with a brush. And I'm just gonna really like concentrate that glitter right in my lid and kind of obviously i didn't do a cut crease but i want that to be really like just precise so i'm taking my lid brush and i'm kind of just gonna like carve out the crease with the glitter if that makes sense you see just so that i kind of it looks like a little bit of a cut crease but like it's not because i didn't use any concealer this is like a little trick that i like to do and then very lightly, I'm just gonna run the brush on the edges of the glitter just so that it doesn't look so choppy and everything kind of just like, you know, goes together. I kind of want to add like another glitter over top just because like I'm obsessed. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of this gold. It's more of like a lighter gold glitter just like to see. Oh, yes. I love that. Okay, so pretty. Just to add a little bit more, you know? Mm. And I'm gonna do the other eye and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like just with the brush alone. So you can see, obviously, you're still going to get that effect, but I feel like when it comes to glitter and shimmers, your fingers are the best tools that you can use. So I'm going to dip into the black in here. Everybody has been raving about it, and I can see why. This really is a true black eyeshadow. It's not a dark gray. It's not a faded black. It's black as black. I'm using a small little smudger brush. This one's from Essence, and I'm just going to be taking that and kind of just applying a little bit right to the outer V of my eye. Just a little bit, kind of like where that brown was. I placed the brown there specifically because I knew I wanted to use some black and I feel like colors just blend better when you add a lighter color underneath. It just helps for everything to blend a little bit more seamlessly. So I'm just gonna take this a little bit and just add that right in there. 
don't worry we're gonna blend these edges out but i'm just trying to kind of place the shadow down first now I feel like the contrast between the black and the glitter, it just makes the glitter stand out a little bit more. Still want the crease to be warm, so I'm not bringing this black up too far. With a clean blending brush, this one's from ColourPop, I'm just going to run this a little bit on the edges just to blend everything. I was just this close to my mirror and completely out of the frame and out of focus. But basically what I'm doing is I'm gradually adding that black. I don't want it to be too intense, but I definitely want to be able to see some black there. So I'm kind of like using this brush and just dabbing the black ever so lightly and kind of just like blending it. I'm trying to be really precise because I have such a heavy hand clearly that sometimes I tend to bring my colors up a little too far in the crease and I want to still keep that orange in the crease. So I'm just like, doing this ever so lightly cool so I'm literally dipping like oh my gosh you guys I'm doing this this is how black this color is like just like so lightly tapping off the excess and then I'm adding this in just taking that same elf brush from earlier and kind of just adding like the littlest bit of the burnt orange and just blending this out and I think I think we're good. I'm gonna just apply some lashes, finish up my foundation and everything, and then I'll be right back and we'll wrap this video up. Okay, the rest of my makeup is complete. You guys, I'm in love with the way the eyeshadow looks, especially now that the rest of the makeup is done and like the lashes, lashes make everything better. So I love it. I will leave everything that's on my face if you guys are interested in this look down below in the description box. Jumping back into the palette, duh. I'm gonna go into the soft camel tone brown shade first, and then I'm gonna be just blending that out on the lower lashes. I do have glitter on my face, but I feel like that's just like bound to happen. I've watched some videos of people who don't have that much fallout, so I guess if you are a little bit more light-handed with the glitter and the shimmers and all that, then you won't have as much. So, something to keep in mind. I'm using a flat definer brush. This one is from Sigma. It's the E15. I'm gonna dip into the black, tapping off that excess. I'm just gonna press this color down on the lower lashes. This is probably besides the glitter one of my favorite shades in the palette just because like i feel like every palette needs a good black and a lot of palettes have a black but it's not super black this one's amazing i love it so i'm just gonna really press that down and this is just gonna emphasize that smokiness then i'm taking some of the chocolate brown i'm gonna mix some of that with the black and i'm gonna use a different brush and we're gonna smudge this out i'm also gonna connect this up to the top I'm gonna take that soft little shimmer shade in the palette. I'm just gonna apply that right in the inner corner of my eyes. And then I'm gonna just take this on my brow bone. Whew, this is incredible. I mean, look how frosty and wet that looks. Like, this is sick in like the best way possible. Last and final thing I'm gonna do is just do some black eyeliner on my waterline and just apply some mascara and we're all done with this look. So my final thoughts on the palette. I am very impressed with it. I really enjoyed working with all of the shades. Obviously I didn't use every single shade, but from what I did use yesterday and today, I love it. I think it's creamy, it's blendable, very easy to work with, very easy to layer. And you know, although there is some fallout, it's really nothing crazy for me at least. It, does, it just doesn't really bother me, but if fallout is something that you're concerned about, if glitter is something you're concerned about or if maybe the colors are just not for you and you don't see yourself reaching for this on an everyday basis I would say maybe opt out on the palette because at the end of the day it is $48 it's not super affordable so if you don't see yourself getting a lot of use out of it or if you're like a little uh, I would maybe just mm, refrain from getting it but for me personally I can see myself using this on camera off camera I mean it's just absolutely beautiful and I'm very happy with what I did create today so I hope that this was helpful for you guys I know that some people will think that I'm lying or that I just want to be on the PR list but my real supporters know for sure that I will let you guys know whether a product is worth it or not no matter who made it no matter how affordable no matter how expensive it is so you know I always got your back and I'll be the first to tell you if I think a high-end product is worth it I personally do think it's worth it if these are the colors and finishes that appeal to you I hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully 
hopefully it was a little bit helpful. Let me know down below what your thoughts are. Are you gonna be getting this? I know currently it is on pre-order. I believe if you order it now, you will get it before December 15th, which I know that seems super far away, but it's already November, so we're right around the corner. So let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you so much for everything. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys soon in a few days in my next one. Bye.